Hello guys, uh, after a little bit of assistance today, if at all possible, um, just looking at the bilge uh, area and sort of the stern gland in particular, I've got a couple of concerns, a couple of worries. So, hive mine, that is YouTube. Um, I need a bit of advice uh, or comments or... Um, yeah, alternatives if you, if you think, but I have one of these. It's this. It's called a marine seal. It's a deep sea seal. Um, and I'm, I'm not sure, there's, there's two or three people, including the guy who, who did the survey of the boat before I purchased it, who said, it's not standard. Um, basically said, doesn't necessarily mean it's dangerous. Um, but he just said it is not standard so I don't know what are people's thoughts has anybody else got one of these um, so it's all it's all well explained there's, there's, there's stuff there and I kind of think I get it I'm not um, what one would call an engineer I believe it's um, it's lubricated by water but but shall walk in. So it's supposed to be lubricated by water I believe into that pipe there that's been blanked off so I've got no got no water lubrication going in there um, I have got the existing old stern gland lubricating um, thing syringe um, whatever it's called but I don't think that does anything. I've been told not to pump anything into that because that will put it at risk because it will put this under pressure with the grease and then it will open up. Apparently, um, the surveyor said that I should belch it every now and again, like that, which makes it squeeze out. But again, I don't fully understand that it's also supposed to have like an emergency tag on it this here um, I believe is this that fits in there somewhere so that if there's a catastrophic failure you do something with it um, I could I could do with some advice on whatever this is that I've got and would the advice be to go back to standard stern gland I mean you can see I've got some water in the bilge but it's very rarely any more than that so I've done four or five days of cruising in this since I've had it and it's never gone any worse than that um, I never really see much of a drip coming from it so it's working okay at the moment I just don't quite know what to do if it goes wrong so Whilst on the subject of bilge and water in the bilge, um, how do I get to that that's there under the box? Because there's obviously a, like a baffle plate there that that stops that compartment filling into that compartment. So oh, there's no bilge pump there, is there? And likewise, you know, what do I do about that? Is it just, do I have to just use a hand bilge? And this bucket that's here, that's kind of full. I don't quite know what's that for. Is that taking a? Is that an overflow of something? I don't quite know what that's for either. So, generally, I could do with a little bit of advice on bilge etiquette and um, and and how these things get dry, stay dry. Um, that would all be really useful.